This is your Extreme Weather Outlook here on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Daniel Kaiser. We do have active weather over the next several days with snow and ice and heavy rain as well. So let's get right into it. As we look at our forecast map for this Friday, we are watching an area of low pressure sliding down the west coast along with cold front that's bringing in some much needed precipitation to the region, even a few thunderstorms possible in some locations. We're also watching a somewhat stationary front across the deep south bringing showers and storms. And we are also watching snow, especially downwind of the Great Lakes, some lake effect snow ongoing over the day as we go throughout your Friday. Meanwhile, as we head towards Saturday and the weekend, we are watching a system pushing out into the central U.S. That is going to bring the chance of some showers and storms, some snow and some ice to the region, not only on your Saturday, but into the day on Sunday as well. And on Sunday, we watch our next system start to move in out west, bringing more needed precipitation. But we do have several winter weather advisories, winter storm watches and warnings, and some lake effect snow alerts as well here across the nation as we work our way through the next few days. You can see some of those heavier areas of snow here on our map as we go through the weekend in the upper Midwest. Some areas of southern Minnesota could see up to six inches of snow watching some heavy snow downwind of the Great Lakes as well, watching the icing concerns this weekend as well. Meanwhile, downwind of some of the Great Lakes could see over eight inches of snow in Syracuse, New York, and about six and a half inches of snow in Jamestown over the next few days. We're also watching the rain chances out west, some much needed precipitation moving on in, not only with that system today, but another system Sunday into Monday, and then another one towards the middle of next week could bring several inches of much needed rain to the region. Santa Rosa, California is over 13 inches below average since October 1st.